to buy cheap multimeters or not to buy cheap multimeters. Customers regularly ask me uh, which multimeter is the cheapest that'll do the job that they need. Whether you're purchasing a multimeter for around the house or for your profession, uh, I would never recommend buying a cheap multimeter. So there are three reasons why you don't want to buy a cheap multimeter. Why you should invest in a good multimeter and why you should not use a cheap multimeter. Even though there's a lot of multimeters to choose from, never ever choose a multimeter based on its price alone. Basically I just want to discuss with you the reason why you should not purchase a cheap or inexpensive multimeter uh, solely based on the price. Uh, and there's a couple reasons for that. There's actually three reasons that I can think of uh, why you shouldn't buy a cheap multimeter. Uh, now I'm, I'm not saying that you you know you should buy the most expensive multimeter, especially if you're like a young electrician or an apprentice, um, you know, new in the trade. Uh, you don't have to buy the most expensive multimeter out there, but um, even if you're just uh, like a home owner or do it yourself or you don't uh, you don't want to buy a cheap multimeter so if you are in the trade uh, I would never recommend you buy a cheap or the cheapest multimeter or a no-name brand multimeter you know always buy a brand name multimeter uh, you know for a lot of the same reasons you don't want to buy cheap tools you know the quality of your tools kind of define your craft and your work and your workmanship uh, so always keep that in mind. Uh, you know, there's you could buy the, the a name brand multimeter, you know, on the lower end of the the price uh, scale, uh, but don't buy a multimeter strictly because of the, the cheapest one that you can find. First of all, is quality. Uh, poor quality tools or poor quality meter means you're doing a poor quality job. And so, like I mentioned with uh, hand tools, uh, you don't want to buy the cheapest hand tools you can buy. Um, you don't want to buy the cheapest multimeter you can buy because of quality. So you want a uh, multimeter that's good quality. Uh, you know, you don't you don't want one that's going to, you know, blow up in your hands or where the leads are going to uh, fail or where the readings are inaccurate. You want a good quality multimeter that's, uh, you know, that's, that's going to be reliable that you can take care of. You know, I've, I have multiple multimeters. Uh, and I've had all of them for you know many years and I take care of them. You don't want to use a poor quality tool on a job that's important um, for your safety or uh, for collecting information that's important to you whether it's troubleshooting or just determining if something's working or not. And secondly is uh, reliability. Uh, cheap tools are simply not reliable. More than any other tool that you own or use you must be able to trust your multimeter. Uh, you want a tool that is reliable. You want a tool uh, that you can trust when you're using it. And your multimeter, you should be able to trust the information that it's giving you. You should be able to rely on it. Uh, you know, when, you, when you're trying to figure something out and you need information, whether it's specific voltage or you're looking for amperage or... Cheap multimeters are not reliable. So you need reliable information, whether you're doing your job or troubleshooting. Uh, you don't want to have to guess uh, if your multimeter is giving you good information or if it's giving you inaccurate information uh, and your job depends on it. So you want a good multimeter and not one that's not reliable. And most importantly is safety. Your life is worth more than the 50 or 60 bucks that might be saved on a cheap multi. Your multimeter should be used for your safety whether it's for protecting you against shock, you know, if you're testing something and you need to know the voltage is completely off or disconnected from the circuit you're working on, or uh, just the safety of equipment or other people, whether you're uh, re-energizing equipment or troubleshooting a problem, uh, safety should be paramount, and you're not going to get that with a cheap or inexpensive multimeter. If you have a multimeter that's giving you a bad reading, and uh, there's voltage and the multimeter is telling you there's no voltage or it's giving you like a weird reading and you you are doing some work on a circuit or a fixture or a device or a piece of equipment um, you know it's 
in your best interest to have a tool that's giving you information that you can rely on for your for your own safety and your own good. So, and not just for you, but for others. So, if you're working with somebody else, you need a tool that's giving you information for uh, the other person's safety, as well as maybe people in your house. You know, um, and uh, so, you know, safety is always a big factor. And so, for those three reasons, I would uh, recommend you know investing in a decent multimeter. Uh, and never purchasing a cheap multimeter. Let me just say this about multimeters also in general. Uh, even though nowadays a lot of multimeters are digital, um, really analog multimeters are better than digital multimeters. And uh, so if you're purchasing your first multimeter and you're not sure how they work, I would actually recommend that you purchase and learn how to use an analog multimeter uh, it'll teach you in the long run when you get a digital multimeter it'll it'll help you understand how the multimeter is giving you information people have uh, often asked me about multimeters and uh, most often they want to know which multimeter is the cheapest that they can purchase that'll do the job for them uh, whatever it is that they're working on so just like with hand tools, I generally do not recommend purchasing a cheap multimeter. Now, whether it's hand tools or multimeters, of the two, it's actually worse to purchase a cheap multimeter for a variety of reasons. Uh, multimeter is actually a safety tool and uh, it's more important than your hand tools. So it's, it's actually better that you spend a little bit more money investing in a multimeter.